Hello everybody, this video explains the concept of just noticeable difference and Weber's law. These are some fundamental concepts in the study of psychophysics, which aims to describe the relationship between physical stimuli and our perceptions of them. First, we will start with the definition of the term just noticeable difference. Then, we will introduce Weber's law. We will make sure to get both an intuitive and technical understanding of the explained concepts. So let's jump in. Imagine that you hold an empty plate in your hand. The plate weighs 300 grams. Then somebody adds a pancake on the plate. The pancake weighs 100 grams. You notice the jump from 300 to 400 grams. It seems that 100 grams is enough to change your perception of the weight in your hand. Let's clear the plate. Now, imagine that somebody puts just a quarter of a pancake on the plate. This quarter weighs 25 grams. You do not notice a difference in weight. In other words, a change of 25 grams was not enough to change your perception of the weight in your hand. We can call the difference of 100 grams a noticeable difference because it changed your perception and you noticed it. However, the difference of 25 grams was not a noticeable difference because you failed to notice it. This means that somewhere between 25 and 100, there is a number that's going to be the smallest difference in weight needed to change your perception and make you notice its presence. This is the just noticeable difference. It is the smallest amount of weight that I need to put on your plate so that you notice it. You might wonder, can the just noticeable difference be quantified somehow? Is there a rule that says which specific number between 25 and 100 is the just noticeable difference? Yeah, there is. It is called Weber's Law. So, what is Weber's Law? It is a statement described with this simple equation. I promised that we would achieve both intuitive and technical understanding, which means that we also need to discuss the math. Do not be afraid if you are allergic to mathematics, though. This is elementary. Weber's Law is a rule that gives us a formula for the just noticeable difference of a stimulus. This is denoted by the left side of the equation, in our case ds. The number ds, which represents the just noticeable difference, depends on the intensity of the reference or also called standard stimulus. In our pancake experiment, this is the weight of the plate because that is the starting intensity of the physical stimulus. k is just a constant. Every type of stimulus intensity measure, such as weight, brightness, electroshock intensity, etc., has a different constant. Now, let's try to interpret this equation. This law tells us that the just noticeable difference is proportional to the intensity of the standard stimulus. That means that the higher the intensity of the stimulus, the bigger the just noticeable difference. This means that if you already had 20 pancakes on your plate, you would probably not notice if somebody added one more, because the just noticeable difference would be higher than the weight of a pancake. 